Hey folks, how you doing? I want to tell you a little story about concealed carry. Um, basically, I fucking hate being a goddamn talking head on fucking YouTube. I'm sorry, y'all, but it's the only way I can get it across. I mean, you ain't gonna, gonna meet me on the street where I live. But, I mean, just, you know, anyway, right, excuse my digression. Concealed carry, pistols, you know, kind of thing. It's one of those things that it's like a product in our, in our, uh, current day in society, current day and age, we all got to think about our own personal protection. Election year is coming up, y'all. And so you got to think about how do we protect ourselves better? I used to be a bouncer and a bounty hunter for 25 years of my life in armed security during those times. And I worked a lot of high risk security sites. And I bring that up because one of the things about working those type of security gigs it's not like a like a cop or like well what law enforcement used to be when the gun wasn't the first thing they went to and people were just was trying to fight you to fight you they didn't want to fight you to kill you you know everybody goes to the gun go to the gun go to the gun another story but getting into a tussle with another person is the last thing you need to do when you have a gun on okay it can happen okay you you don't have that much time to react to a person who all of a sudden wants to attack you okay also you want to be able to retain your weapon weapon retention is everything and it can still carry life weapon retention weapon retention okay i joke around with it but it's no fucking game if you can't retain your weapon you're fucking dead you just don't even put it on and so i tell this story because there's been situations in my professional life in which I've had a holster on and my god like I had to deploy my weapon one time and the holster came off with the weapon I'm not going to say the company I'm not going to say what they use cause not important what they use I'm going to talk about what I use later <laughs> and so uh yeah excuse me I'm driving and I need brakes but uh but yeah the truth of the matter is you want to have a, a good weapon that retains, uh, you know, your weapon. I mean, sorry, a good holster that retains your weapon at all time. And no, I don't want to video edit it. I want all my quirks in. I want to be a real person. On Everybody's trying to be polished on YouTube. I don't care. I'm, I'm unshaved. You know, I need to brush my teeth. My hat's raggedy. Who the fuck cares, dude? You know, I don't care what you think, man. Look, I, I'm here. I survived. I made, I made the 42 because of... A, I made the 42 because, you know, I was smart. And one of the things I was smart about was my holster. And I and I made a holster from a product called ABS. It's a type of petroleum byproduct. It's not, you know, exactly destructible, you know? It's pretty damn good. Started learning about it. I'll put a description link below so you can Google fuck it. Excuse my bad language, but you know, whatever. But the reason why I made it from this is because I figured out that everybody's using this, these different forms of kydex, which, which kydex is a form of it, but it's just a, but basically I wanted something that I knew would work really, really well, um, in, uh, up close environment, uh, all types of weather, uh, super durable, uh, super just shock resistant. Uh, now I use it when I do my VIP stuff. I use it when I do my, uh, just my other personal security. I use it in my personal protection. I've outfitted it to be for my personal weapon. Uh, I had it measured for the uh, the groin area for my specifications, you know, the, the leg area, muscles, and had it so that was a comfortable fit. Sometimes I forget I got it on now, but it's a super durable, super uh, just lightweight holster that I am still testing out. So far, so good. I've been in a couple things with it. I bumped it across a couple things, ran a couple, you know, and it's been good. It still, it still functions good, you know. Um, I actually enjoy uh, the fact that I forget it, and so I made that and some some magazine holsters, uh, magazine holders, and, and gun holster, and because personal protection is something that we can take serious at different distances and different levels, and I'm going to start teaching this in my class is that you can address different threats depending on how you're prepared for them and depending on how you prepare for them up here and depending on how you prepare within your gear. And so that's why I made that particular holster 
that I will put a name on that before I release this video. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I just wanted to keep a real raw video with you guys that I'm glad I'm here. I made the 42. I live in America, so America could be tougher. America could be like some third world countries for some folks, and they're not really aware of it, but it's the truth. And you got to have gear that can allow you to keep your weapon ready, but not easily taken from you. You know, I mean, I've had situations where my, my gun fell out on accident because of the type of holster I had or that little clip draw thing. Screw that clip draw shit. Somebody could take that right from you. You want a holster that nobody can take it from you. You want a holster that can keep everything together on you like a second skin. It's comfortable as you can forget you're wearing. And I just say, you want to get that, DM me how to do it. I'll do, I'll do you a personal one. I'll do you one just for your specifications. We'll talk about how we do it. And that's what we'll do. And ladies, I, I, I vote. I always vote for you all to take advantage of the of the space. No offense, take advantage of the space and you're carrying the weapons for real and get used to pulling from that because you know what? A man get up on you, you ain't gonna have time to grab. He gonna be trying to grab your shit. So think about that. I, I specifically said to my ladies because there's been a lot of violence towards women and I'm not really a big fan of that. I grew up and I'm celebrating my parents' 50th year anniversary celebrating it with this holster celebrating with the new direction celebrating with the new prosperities new abundances and uh this my network of folks just y'all just you know get yourself something good that nobody can see but this works for you like i said um you dm me how put all the contact information below and uh i like to keep my videos crew so you know i'm a real cat i ain't trying to come off too polished you know i got this for a movie role don't get too used to it all right love you guys Peace.